Chasing the Walbrook River is an act of faith and resurrection. It's a river walk without a river, offering only tantalising hints that there was once water here. The source of the River Walbrook is lost. Some think it was near St Leonard's Church and others say it was nearer Shoreditch High Street. But probably the most likely candidate is the Lost Holy Well, a sacred spring credited with miraculous properties that gave its name to the medieval priory of St John the Baptist, Holy Well. The well eventually disappeared from maps, and its exact location is now unclear. But maps of the Priory show a great horse pond on what is now the west side of New Inn Street. Behind these colourful figures are the remains of a theatre built in 1576, the first of its kind, and performed in by the Chamberlain's Men. It was a three-storey, half-timbered building, sited among the remains of the Holy Well Priory. would have followed its course round here towards Curtin Road. And this is Shoreditch, which is London's original theatre land. So I've got a um, another old City of London rather gruesome anecdote to match this uh, gruesome graffiti behind us. So this area here was um, Curtin Road and up on that side would have been all built up in the 1660s as the old city and on the other side, um, behind you, would have been the Finsbury Fields. Now Daniel Defoe writes in the 1660s how this area was a great pit and the infected during the Great Plague would come up to the edge of the pit and throw themselves in and then they'd um, <laughs> they'd wait to expire before any earth was thrown over them. On a lighter note, um, up that way is uh, Holy Well Lane, the first uh, name in this walk which has any evidence of our um, missing river. Here we are on the Curtain Road and here's the graffiti. I feel like the River Woolbrook seems to be lost in the graffiti. There's little signs here of a, a lost river. Of course, Curtain Road is what used to be called the Holy Well Lane, so we seem to be looking for a river that's not even underground anymore, just lost in time and lost underground. Remains only really in pictures like this and, and in place names. And just walking up ways like this, ways that we're quite familiar with along forgotten routes and forgotten rivers makes you more aware of place names. For instance, ones we're quite familiar with like Shoreditch. Even that holds the memory of these uh, lost rivers. In a sense perhaps London is a it's a rather obvious choice for somewhere which is just completely layered up with different people's stories and overlapping pathways across the across the years. But I feel that's that's obviously clearly reflected in the um, in the place names um, there on the corner of Curtain Street, which used to be known as um, the Holy Well Lane, as you know. And then here as well, with these old arts and crafts building here, we can go right back in time. And just in front, I've been told, is a um, an old drinking fountain just tucked behind the Hackney Council bin, um, which in a way offers a really temptingly um, close way to reach the River Ballbrook, which must run somewhere, or did run somewhere, underneath this worship street.